When I first started painting, I had no idea what kind of art supplies I needed. I want to be able to give you exactly what you need so that when you walk into that art store, you're gonna feel confident that you are only buying one, what you need, two, and that you can afford it. In this tutorial, there are a number of things that I'm providing. I'm providing documentation on what to get and what not to get. Yep, that's right. I'm even telling you, don't waste your money on X, Y, and Z. Because I know when I look at that art supply store and I see all those pretty colors and I just want them all. Oh, they're just so pretty and I just gotta play. It can get kind of expensive. So, reel it back in. Reel it back in and just focus on what you need right now because you're just getting started. Invest your money where it's going to matter. A couple good hints here on what I'm going to cover. I want you to invest in the paint. Don't invest in expensive brushes, especially when you're getting started because here's the truth of it and I will prove it. You're going to ruin brushes, especially in the beginning. I'm going to walk you through how to clean your brushes, how to care for them, the do's and don'ts. I've got a whole PDF on do's and don'ts of brush care because ugh, I have seen some horrors. But in this one, you can expect to, to get a greater understanding what oil paints you need and why, what palettes you need and why, brushes and, and palette knives, what to consider, what not to consider, what not to do, what to do. You're also going to get some recommendations on whether you should use canvas or panel. I'm also going to show you all the various mediums that I use, and I only use four. Now I know if you go to the paint store, you're going to see a whole bunch of mediums and it's all going to be confusing because they talk about viscosity, they talk about fast dry, slow dry, uh, glazing, waxing, and I can tell you they make it so complicated and it just doesn't need to be. So I'm going to hit the easy button for you. The other thing that we're going to talk about are easels. Because I know when I first went into the art supply store, I saw all these easels and they just looked so mechanical, so complicated, and I didn't really know what I needed. Because of that, I have, I actually have owned probably, let's see, I have actually owned seven easels. And granted, I've kept most of them except for one because I don't need it. I've owned seven easels trying to find that right fit because they didn't have what I'm providing. I'm providing you a set of questions so that you can walk into that store and get the easel that best suits your needs because that easel is going to last you a very, very long time. Well, after all of this, my hope is that you walk into the art supply store like I do now and it's no longer stressful. It's a happy place. It's one that where I walk in, I can literally <laughs> hear the angels sing and my husband will just drop me off for two hours because he knows I'm just going to go down and I'm and down each aisle and I'm going to fill every paintbrush. I'm going to look at every tube of paint. I'm going to read the back of it because I'm no longer overwhelmed. That's my goal for you, is when you walk down that paint supply aisle that you feel comfortable and confident that you know what you need. Mm -hmm.